I thought it might be fun to look through my notebook of drawings and stuff. I got this notebook when I was on G4 TV many years ago, and it's a nice notebook. So I used it for a lot of my drawings and whatnot. So it's pretty much completely full now, so I thought it might be fun to like just look through it and see what we can find. Hmm, okay, this is a hard drive setting. Uh, let's see, I got this notebook around 2005, so this was probably for my early Atari 800 laptop project. Clearly I was working on some sort of Neo Geo here and buying engraving plastic. Hmm, what's this? Looks like some sort of pinout. POW activity... Hmm, not sure what that was for. This looks like some sort of website design. Some sort of ring there, not sure what that's all about. More website design, more website design, more website design. Oh, a loose piece of paper. Okay. Not sure what that's for. More website design. Oh, here's some notes uh, regarding Port Washington back when we were finishing that movie. That's interesting. Wow. It's been a long time working on that movie. <laughs> I mean, even when I got this notebook, I was just about done with it, so this is probably some of like the last edits and stuff. Oh, here we go. What is this? Rounds to go into dummy. This is some sort of camera mount. I'm not sure what it was for. Oh, yeah, that was like a Neo Geo I was designing. You know, kind of like a tabletop Neo Geo. Remember, a lot of this was in the mid-2000s, back when... You know, back before we had cell phones and emulators on our watches and stuff. Yeah. That's not my handwriting. I wonder who wrote that. Cubic inches. Oh, I bet that was when I was working on the first Xbox 360 laptop. More laser time. Oh, what's this? Ethernet. Oh, I was certainly working on the Xbox 360 laptop at this time. One Man Down Productions, this was a, a group I was working with in 2006, and we were making a documentary about a ghost town in Michigan. Why was I so obsessed with the Ethernet on the Xbox 360? Oh, look, here's a uh, list of things to bring on our photo trip, uh, our trip to Michigan to uh, document this ghost town. See if there's anything really weird. Road flare, okay. <laughs> Wide angle lens, well, of course. Thumb drive, and a thermometer. All right. What is this? This must be some sort of list I was working on. This is probably around the time we started doing the podcast. And we have a lot of drawings in here of aliens because we were thinking about making a movie called Jack Kirby Alien Hunter. Yeah, this is certainly podcast topics here. More plastic lists. Some sort of super desk I was designing. Oh, I think this was going to be my awesome possum-like game character. It was like a raccoon who recycled. Can't remember what his name was. Oh yeah, this was back when we were, wanted to make our own video game. That never materialized. Well, we didn't have it like a robot you could fight in the video game. I think the idea was we were going to scan these. This was around the time that the Xbox Live Arcade was kind of coming into its own. So you know, everyone's like, "Oh, you can make your own game." Clearly, there are more detailed pinouts here now. I made like the second Xbox laptop. Notebook's probably going to be more technical from here on out. Here's another video game control I was thinking about. It's Stickman. Oh wow, look, that Stickman can shoot in eight directions. Not at all like Contra. This looks like... Yeah. Oh, 
This must be the Commodore 64. The Commodore 64 laptop I worked on uh, for quite a while before I actually got it to work. Uh, wait, that's the wrong way. There we go. Screen. I basically completely built it. It didn't work. And then I started it from scratch. And the final result was quite good. More plastics lists. This, oh, this was the Wii laptop, yeah. I don't know if it really looks like it ended up looking. You can kind of see some of the shapes, and you see where the screen's going to fold up. I always sketch those things out by hand ahead of time, because doing it on the computer is very slow. Oh, here's a uh, <laughs> Xbox 360 and HD DVD combo system I was thinking about making at one point. Never finished it. Xbox 360 control. Oh, here's where um, I started getting into the single-handed controllers. And when I first made them, I made them way too complicated. And you see there's a pinouts and interconnects and I've greatly simplified them since then. And I know sometimes people go on my site and they're like, oh, why can't I order this you know, 2007 model single-handed controller? And the reason you can't order it is because it's way too complicated and I'd have to charge you far too much to build it and it's just not worth the time. PS3 USB breakout. That's interesting. Oh, this must be. Oh, that must be the older PS3 where they had four USB connectors in front of it. Oh yeah, and this was back when I had like the Molex connectors in the back of the Xbox 360 laptops. What is this? Oh, my uh, DVI HDMI pinout. Yes, because DVI and HDMI are basically the same. And I had this color coded. There's a certain cable I would get off Tiger Direct. And the colors are always consistent, and that's why I always got it. Oh, this is when I was working on the Axis controller for uh, accessibility. And that's a latch that looks like a penis, unfortunately. What is this? Oh, this was the single-handed guitar. I had like an S-Video plug on it, and that's what I used to connect the pieces together. What else is in here? Oh, the Atari 2600 portable. I Anytime there's a disconnect inside something I build, I always label the headers and the pinouts just so I know what it is. Uh, more Xbox 360 laptops. This must be when I was really kind of getting into my groove. Oh yeah, THQ, that was when I did the promotional items for Darksiders, the first Darksiders, not the second one. Oh, here's an interesting part of history, the Infinity Ward debug controller. Infinity Ward bought the first uh, controller latency monitor that I built. And this is myself figuring it out figuring out what the pinout's going to be, adding transistors for some reason. Yeah, a lot of history right there. Home group. Oh no. That password is completely out of date, I'm sure. This is the drawing I did for the uh, I Hope They Serve Beer in Hell controller that I did for the movie of the same name. And the idea was they wanted a control system that looked like something a hardcore gamer would have, so I envisioned like two wands with half of the Xbox controls on either wand. And there was like an arm module as well. I think they actually cut the cable off in the movie, but the controllers did work. <laughs> they were shipped working. Oh, here's the access controller, the thing with the little modules. Gametron. Oh, yeah, that was an arcade machine I built for a friend of mine. Sip and Puff controller. Well, that's something that was never on the site. That was, uh, well, it was a Sip and Puff controller for quadriplegics. Oh, obviously, this is a PlayStation 3. Uh, screen printed circuit. PlayStation 3 was really hard to work with. I never actually had much luck modding the controller. These signals are too hard to figure out. The PlayStation 4... Oh, I've got one right here. The PlayStation 4 circuit is actually a lot simpler. The only analog buttons are R2 and L2, so that's looking a lot more promising. Not sure why these are stapled together. I don't think there's anything super secret inside. I'll just... I think it was basically old, irrelevant data, so I just stapled it up. Commodore 64 attempt 2, so that's when I was actually trying to figure it out. <laughs> and the second attempt worked pretty good. Now there's another prototype I did. XE, oh yeah, the 800 XE GS con keyboard conversion. So when I made my second Atari 800 computer, I really wanted to have the old 1979 model Atari 800 keyboard in it. So I had to basically figure out the um, how to convert the XEGS keyboard PCB to the 800. It was pretty self, well, not self explanatory, but it wasn't too difficult. P 
PS Slim laptop. Okay, so okay, there's a date here. That was when the PS Slim came out. Whenever those new Slim consoles come out, I immediately buy them. Although I don't have the new Xbox 360, like the one that came out this year, because eh, I'm kind of past that. What is this guy? Ramps, pins. Oh, this is when I was working my lost pinball machine based off the TV show. Oh, this is actually pretty modern. This part right here, this is actually uh, the time of flight light sensor for uh, controller monitors. Uh, what the heck is this? That looks like a parallel port pin. I'm not sure why I have that. Putting infrared disconnect switches in a pinball matrix. Terrible. I would not suggest doing it. We actually do it with dedicated switches now. Oh, these drawings, I, I recognize this. This is the um, Hot Pocket extruder. Because you can see the teeth and the, the things that advance and that's actually what causes it to um, work. So again, always good to draw by hand before you spend time on the computer. Oh, and, oh yeah, this is something I'm still working on. This is um, for the new Xbox One accessibility controllers. Still getting my notes together on that one. Oh, and this is the automatic wheelchair we built in 2012. Basically a pin out and what I.O. we were using on the microcontroller. Oh yeah, the um, Raspberry Pi MAME portable. Cube Games, that was also a project from 2013 that we did for Ben Sawyer. Oh, we're getting pretty close to the end here. 38 kilohertz IR emitter circuit for America's Most Haunted, which we didn't end up using. And its detector, which didn't work so great. Again, would not suggest doing opto sensors in a matrix. And these scribbles, these are actually old, but they're in the back of the book for some reason. This was a pinball cabinet where the legs would fold up inside the cabinet. And the reason this is so badly drawn is because I drew it while holding the paper up in front of a webcam. I remember I was Skyping with Jerry Ellsworth about that. So there it is. There is the Ben Heck notebook. I wrote it in my diary so I didn't have to remember. Hopefully you've enjoyed this trip down memory lane.